os ouvintes de Dare no momento que discutem o modo similar de diálogo. Triangles. Geometry. Two polygons are similar when one is a replica or a scale model of the other. I shall call him Mini Me. Let us consider Dr. Evil and Mini Me from Nightmare's hit movie Austin Powers. Mini Me is supposed to be an exact replica of Dr. Evil. So, this is an example of similar features. Another similar feature, smiley. The one is bigger and the other is smaller. Another similar features we have here, octagonal clock, smaller, and the bigger octagonal clock. Another picture of, I think, uh, the United Nations, smaller, smaller logo and the bigger logo of the United Nations. They are similar features. The following are non-similar features. Yes, because in one, number one, this is a rectangle and the other is a square. So, uh, it's not a replica actually. And in number two, it's a right triangle and it's an obtuse triangle. So, they are not similar, non similar features. Fifi, the mother cut, lost her daughters. Would you please help her to find her daughters? Her daughters have a similar footprint with their mother. What do you think? Yeah. Which of the following is similar to the above triangle? A, B, C, or D? Answer is Okay. I think the answer is A. Okay. It's just a replica of the bigger acute triangle. I think this is an equiangular and this is a right triangle. Next. Similar triangles are triangles that have the same shape but not necessarily the same size. Features here, triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. So the symbol is what we call the symbol of similarity in the wave sign. So as you can see, uh, between the two triangles, uh, they do not have the same size. Triangle ABC is bigger than triangle DEF, but as you can see, they, they, they have the same shape. I think both. Both are right triangles. So they are what we call similar triangles. When we say the triangles are similar, there are several repercussions that come from it. Angle A is congruent to angle D because they are corresponding angles. Angle B is congruent to angle E. And angle C is congruent to angle F. So when we are talking about similar triangles, corresponding angles are congruent. And also, uh, the ratio of the sides, the ratio of the corresponding sides, okay, I mean, uh, yes, are proportional. In short, the sides are proportional. So, in here, AB over DE, AB over DE is equal to BC over EF is equal to AC over DF. So, I think these are the two conditions that will make two triangles similar. Corresponding angles are congruent and the sides are proportional uh, to make uh, to make the uh, definition of similar triangles um, evident the switch states that they have the same shape but not necessarily the same size so six of those statements are true as a result of the similarity to of two triangles. However, if we need to prove that the pair of triangles are similar, how many of those statements do we need? Because we are working with triangles and the measure of the angles and sides are dependent on each other. 
we do not need all six so there are three special combinations that we can use to prove similarity of triangles number one is the EPP similarity theorem uh, which means three pairs of proportional sides pop similarity theorem in which two pairs of proportional sides and congruent angles between them and AA similarity theorem, two pairs of congruent angles. So, in other terms, the other term for PPP is SSS. Pwede rin yun, pwede rin natin gamitin. We can change, uh, we can substitute P for S, which means side. And A is the angle, so pwede tong SSS. Ito naman SAS, and then AA. It's just the same. Uh, you just use P. I mean proportional sides. PPP similarity theorem, three pairs of proportional sides. We have here triangle ABC and another triangle EFE. So if AB is 5, FD or, or DF is 4. So therefore the ratio, the ratio of the corresponding side, uh, AB over DF is 5 fourths. Which is equal to 1.25. If BC is 12, what is its corresponding side? Which is EF 9.6 Okay, if we, we take the ratio BC over FE, we have 12 divided by 9.6, still 1.25. And if AC is 13, the corresponding side is DE 10.4 naman siya. If we divide 13 by 10.4, 1.25 also. So as you can see, we have equal. Um, equal ratios of the corresponding sides. So that means the, so the sides are proportional. So there are three pairs of proportional sides. So that means these two triangles, ABC and DFE, are similar. Triangle ABC is similar to triangle DFE by PPP similarity theorem or SSS similarity theorem. Three pairs of proportional sides. Let's go to POP similarity theorem or SAS similarity theorem. Two pairs of proportional sides and congruent angles between them or what we mean the included angle we have here triangle GHI and triangle KLJ or LKJ if GH is 5 its corresponding side is LK 7.5 let's, let's determine the ratio 5 divided by 7.5 is 0 0.6666 repeating number if the angle of Angle H 70 degrees and its corresponding angle, angle K 70 degrees also, they are congruent. Angle H is equal to angle H. Angle H is congruent to angle K. If HI is 7 and JK is 10.5, let's determine the ratio. 7 divided by 10.5 is also 0 0.666. So in this case, two pairs of proportional sides and the angle between them or the included angle is. Uh, I mean, congruent, congruent. There, are, uh, there is a congruent angle between them. Yeah, so therefore, these two triangles are similar by SAS or POP similarity theorem. Triangle GHI similar to It's possible for two triangles to be similar when they have two pairs of angles even, but only one of those even pairs are congruent. Some of them here, triangle TUS. Triangle ZYX. Angle U is 87 degrees. Angle T is 34 degrees. Angle X is 34 degrees. Angle Z is 59 degrees. Angle T is 34 degrees, which is equal to its corresponding angle, angle X, 34 degrees. So measure of angle T is equal to measure of angle X. Now in triangle TUS, let us try to solve for the measure of angle S. The sum of the three angles of any triangle is 180 degrees. So if we're going to add 87 and 34. Okay, subtract it from 180 degrees. We have 180 minus 121 degrees is 59 degrees. So 59 degrees is angle S, which is equal to its corresponding angle, <coughs> angle Z. <coughs> 59 degrees. Yeah. So, two pairs 
of uh, congruent angles between these two triangles, therefore they are similar. And the measure of angle S is equal to measure of angle J. Triangle TSU is similar to triangle XJY. Nope. One triangle is a scale model of the other triangle. Yes. So we're going to get the ratio. Or I mean the scale factor. We have 10 divided by 5 is 2. 8 divided by 4 is 2. 12 divided by 6 is 2. So the scale factor between the uh, larger triangle to the smaller triangle is 2. But if you are trying, uh, uh, trying to get the scale of scale factor of the smaller triangle to the bigger triangle, we have one half. Four over eight is one half. Five over ten is one half. Six over twelve is one half. How do we know if two triangles are similar or proportional? Triangles are similar if corresponding angles are equal, and the ratios of the lengths of corresponding sides are equal. Interior angles of the triangle. We have here angle A, B, angle, C, angle B, and angle C. The sum of the measure of the angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. Angle A plus angle B plus angle C is equal to 180 degrees. Determine whether the pair of triangles is similar. Justify your answer. <clears throat> what do you think? Are they similar? We have 84. You want to add this angle M and angle N? 84 degrees. 84, one, uh, 180 minus 84 is 96. So angle O is also 96 degrees. And angle S and angle R are equal, which means they're both equal to 42 degrees. So I think they are similar by AA similarity joint. Since the corresponding angles have equal measures, the triangles are similar. If the product of the extremes, equals the product of the means then a proportion exists a over b is equal to c over d okay okay uh, product of the means is called the product of the extreme can mean cross product so b times c should be equal to a times d okay. bc is equal to ad that's what we mean uh, when uh, a proportion exists so when you triangle ABC and triangle XYZ, okay, what's the what's the scale factor between the larger triangle and the smaller triangle, which is two? That's the answer. What is the scale factor between the smaller triangle to the bigger triangle? That is one half. And AB over XY is equal to K. So scale factor is two. BC over YZ equals K, scale factor is 2. AC over XZ equals K, which is also 2. So this tells us that triangle ABC and triangle XYZ are similar. Can these triangles be similar? We have the sides, angle ABC, 10, 6, 8. Angle, triangle XYZ, 8, 4, and 8, 4, and 6. So, what's the corresponding side of AC? Of course, it's also 8. What's the corresponding side of 6? I think, uh, wait. Okay, what do you think is the answer? Can these triangles be similar? The answer is yes, the triangles can also be similar, but use the criteria AB over XY. It's equal to BC over YZ. It's equal to AC over XZ. It's equal to K. 6 over 4. Is, is it equal to 8 over 6? Is it equal to 10 over 8? Which is equal to K. So do we have equality? 6 over 4 is equal to 8 over 6. Equal to 10 over 8. Plus K. 6 over 4 is 1.5, but 8 over 6 is 1.3. This, is, this tells us our triangles are not similar. You cannot have two different scaling factors. Okay, magkaiba kasi yung scale factor nila, yung mga sides. So that means the two triangles are not similar. 
If we're given that two triangles are similar or proportional, what can we determine about the triangles? The two triangles below are known to be similar. Determine the missing value x. Yeah. What is x here? Of course, we can be able to solve for x. We're going to use a proportion. And use the principle of proportion, the cross multiplication to solve for x. So how? We're just uh, going to equate 7.5 over 5 equals 6 plus 4.5 over x. Or, put it in the meeting equation, 6 over 4 is equal to 4.5 over x. So, if we use this, 7.5 over 5 plus 4.5 over x. Then, by cross multiplication, 7.5x is equal to 5 times 4.5. 22.5 divide both sides by 7.5 which is equal to 3 so that's the answer for the problem solving for x x is equal to 3 now in the future the two triangles are similar what are a c and d okay Uh, then the corresponding side of AB is PR. The corresponding side of BC is QR. And the corresponding side of AC is PQ. So if we're going to try to solve for C, then we can form our equation. 10 over 5 is equal to C over 4. First multiply, 5C is equal to 40. 40 divided by 5 is 8. So therefore C is equal to 8. How about D? To solve for D, we can use the equation 10 over 5 is equal to 6 over D. Then by cross multiplication, we have 10, 10 D equals 30. Divide both sides by 10, which is equal to 3. So uh, solve na, D is 3. And yung kanina yung C? 8. C is 8 and D is equal to 3. Sometimes you need to measure distance indirectly. Common method of indirect measurement is the use of similar triangles. We have here a tree. And its shadow is, the length of its shadow is 102 plus 17, 119 units. The height of the man in the figure is 6. Well, six foot, you know, six feet, six footer, six footer shape of And the length of its, its shadow is 17 feet. Find the height of the tree. So our, we can form two triangles here, two, two similar triangles here. So from, from that, we can be able to solve for H, the height of the tree. So our equation will be 17 over 102 is equal to 6 over H. The height of the man over the height of the, I mean, the shadow of the length, of, the length of the shadow of the man over the length of the shadow of the tree is equal to the height of the man over the height of the tree. So by cross multiplication, we have 17h is equal to 6 times 102. To, uh, manipul uh, manipulating the equation, we have 36. Therefore, the height of the tree is 36 units. Thank you very much for listening. Right, I'll see you next time again. Goodbye and keep safe.